Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in the last video we looked up uh, about setting up the setup function that will make our lives easier going forward in which we'll be setting up uh, uh, specific functions or values that will be reusable across our tests. In this uh, specific video, it'll be a short one, I'll be introducing something called Mixer. Uh, and this is a package that helps us generate random values uh, for the specific fields that we have in our model. So what do I mean by this? So right now, whenever we try to create a student, we manually write, you know, the first name, the last name, the admission number or any other in, uh, value that or field that is of interest to us. And whenever now we need to test, for example, like the grade, literally the important value here that we need to test is just the uh sorry let me just minimize this the important value here is the average score that's what you're interested in especially when you're just testing the grade we don't care what is the first name we don't care about the last name or the admission number but the reason we had got this in the first place is because in our models we've made them to be compulsory numbers now what mixer does is uh we are able to dynamically create such student models or any other um, uh, or any other models and only concentrate on the um, the important values so i'm going to clear my terminal here and i'm going to pip install um, mixer okay just give it a second As it is installing, uh, we can go one by one. So, for example, um, okay. Okay, and for, for this mixer to make sense, I'm actually going to ignore this setup function and we are going to come back to this setup function later on when we introduce PyTest among us other things and when we do API test. So for now, I'm going to uncomment everything that we've done here. And the way we use Mixer, I'm going to import here. I'm going to say from Mixer.backend. Yeah, from backend. Uh, and I'm going to dot Django. I'm going to import Mixer. Okay, so here instead of saying student one is equals to that, I can come and say student one is equals to, and we use this function always mixer.blend. And if I highlight this, it says it's going to generate an instance and it's going to look at the scheme and this is the database scheme and it's going to fill in the appropriate values. So what that means is going to come here and know that the first name is a character and actually put a character name for us or any other value that we want. In this, we just want to see if the student can be created. So I'm going to pass in we always pass in as the first argument the model uh, that we want mixer i mean we want mixer to create so and that is a student so i can highlight that one out and of course this test is going to fail because uh, we are going to check actually going to copy this and return it to the way it was initially same as this Sorry about this, guys. So I expect... I also need to return this to the original. Okay. So the reason I expect this one, the first test to fail here is because it's going to check the first name of this object that is going to get created by mixer but and i'm sure it, it won't be tom so oops let's run python manage.py test and it's giving us an error and saying john is not equals to tom of course mixer was smart enough to know that uh 
for this student model, we have a first name and you can see that it's able to know that a first name and it's going to put a name like John and it's, it has not put a weird name like pineapples or, you know, umbrellas. It knows that this is a fa it's name of a person and it's going to realize this is also a last name. So, and if we put something else here, let's say like gender, it's going to put male or female. It's smart enough to know these common fields. And if it's an integer, it's going to insert an integer. Okay, and if we run this again, I'm going to run this again, it's going to generate another random value and it's going to say Jeffrey is not, sorry, is not equal to Tom. Awesome. But here we are only interested uh, to see if the student can be formed. So actually this test was flawed to start with. So here I can just come and say, or if we want to test the name, what I can do here is come and say, I can overwrite the first value that Mixer is putting. In this case, he's putting like Jeffrey. So I can overwrite that and say, first, we are testing first name. And I'm going to say is equals to Tom. And this is what is going to do is, it's going to take the student model, but it's going to overwrite the first name field with our custom value and it's going to pre-fill the rest of them with unique values. And now if I run this, all, all of them pass. Okay. Let's do this with a second value. Here we want to, we are trying to test if the string is going to return the same. So, So I'm going to say student1 is equals to mixer.blend and I need to overwrite um, again is similar to this where we are going to put the first name to be Tom. And all tests should pass. And I know by now you're asking why not just do this? I know in this simplistic model that we have, we only have like four, we only have like five uh, entries and hence here we are only saving us, uh, we are saving ourselves time to write this one. But as your project grows and as you add more, more as you add more fields to the models, you'll actually come to realize that um, Mixer is going to save you a lot of time. And now the best example I can give is with this test grade fail where all this information here is relevant and we don't need to write it. So I can actually just copy this, come here, paste it. I'm going to comment this out. And here the only important thing we need uh, is this average score of 10. Copy this, come here, yeah, we only need an average score of 60, and I'm actually going to delete that, same as that, we don't need it anymore, going forward we'll be using Mixer to do this kind of thing, and for excellent grade, uh, we are going to put an average score of 90, and I'm going to delete that as well. Let me just delete all this because we won't be using it anymore. So we've managed to successfully uh, replace everything with, with Mixer. And now we can see that our code looks quite neat. So if I run the test, all of them should run uh, correctly. So this is, this is uh, a nice way of cleaning up our code and uh, making uh, work a bit uh, easier for us. So in the next video, I'm going to set up PyTest and this is where now the fun will begin. And I'm going to discuss why we need PyTest and not, and not this default uh, test cases that Django provides. And we'll discuss some of the advantages that PyTest brings to the table. And now we'll begin uh, to, to do some awesome testing. I look forward in seeing you in the next video.